Verse 39, Jesus looks back at him and says, now go back to your home and tell all that God has done for you. I said that because I want you to, I want to solidify a point I've been making recently. That those who know Jesus will tell everyone about them knowing Jesus. You won't be quiet about it because if he really has healed you, how many of you, don't raise your hand, that God has helped you overcome some demon in your life? I actually do. I do that because I believe it's something Jesus would have done. He would have taken the gospel. He would have got on planes if we had him back then. He would have done, man, he did better. He walked everywhere to bring the gospel. And we want the same Jesus. So we start talking to them about Christ. A, a, a sister gives her life to Christ. Another sister give his life. The daughter gives her life to Christ. Like we have revival in their little hut living room right there. People who are hurting, mourning the potential death of this father. And I said, let's stop back by this man's house. Let's talk to his family a little bit more. We get there, the man is dead. He died. And I'm sitting here going, Lord, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Like I'm believing, man, the dude was sincere. He won't give his life to Christ. And I look around, and I see these faces that we're crying now have hope. And we're talking to these family members, and we're talking, hey, listen, according to Scripture and according to what your father did and your grandfather and your uncle did, he is now with Jesus. 